My Chicago is. My Chicago is. My Chicago is. Chicago is. Not your average. Improving. Very, very cool. Is historical. Multicultural. My Chicago is full of gun violence. Twelve years old. Many have said that Chicago is a site full of crime and violence. Some part of that may be true. I say that it's all about perspective. Chicago to me has been a way to restore my happiness and peace. Coming to and living in Chicago has led me to many great opportunities that I was never exposed to in the past. Chicago has brought me out of the most darkest moments in my life. Moving out of Tennessee could have been the best thing that has happened to me. You see, back in Tennessee, I was hopeless and homeless. Didn't have a clue of what I was going to do to move forward. Until one day, I was shown a light that in order for things to get better for me, I had to leave Tennessee behind in the past. I needed a change, and that change was a change of location in order for my life to heal and to piece back together. Chicago is life, air, and fire. It's like walking through the storm and shines at the end. Chicago is the booming city of action, a fast-paced society, unique to its people and its buildings. The riots, the gangs, the burning buildings, the silence of trains, the streets we walk, the croc center where we all go, the aging of a new life, but still, Chicago is where we all call home. This is Chicago. During the summer, the lakefront is the number one spot. Ocean waves crashing on the sand, the light of the sun reflects on the waves, a warm breeze filling the air. When I am not at the lakefront, I am at Millennium Park. The bean is a sight to see when the sunset is happening, a crisp of autumn's air filling my lungs. Millennium Park is fun, but I found myself in Blue Island. Different cultures that makes Blue Island enjoyable. It is a place where I can eat and enjoy my day. Most of the time I am spending time with my family. Other times I will be at home drawing. There are a lot of positive aspects of Chicago, but there are negative points. One thing that can be changed in Chicago is the food deserts. Grocery stores in different communities aren't there anymore. People have to travel outside of the area to get groceries. Also, there are not many healthy options for people to choose from. More grocery stores and healthy restaurants and communities can replace empty lots and bring vibrance to the neighborhoods. Hello, my name is Jatan Mays. My perspective of Chicago is to make a change in my community and to have a positive impact on Black people. Also, to stand up for our rights. The changes I would like to make in Chicago is to have more programs and jobs for Black people and to have more Black police officers and let Blacks better their education and live life. The things I love to do in Chicago is go downtown and shop and explore different places like the AMC Theater, Water Tower, Giordano's, and Navy Pier, Ferris Wheel, and shop at Chicago Ridge Mall. Life when it just used to be us. I remember them days my mom would come home and she would fuss, but I guess that's what made me me. I haven't lived in Chicago long, it's been about four years, maybe even three. Growing up in Chicago, well, I didn't always live here, but I guess ever since I moved here, I've been living in fear. Walking down the street, having trash by my feet. I just wish somebody would come out the house and sweep. When I found out I lost my friend Jetty to a gun, I couldn't do nothing but shed tears. Wondering why the violence didn't stop yet. It's been too many years. Too many tears. What else to fear? But now I'm seeing I cannot be fearful. I have a family to live for. Even the ones not around and in the ground. 
can say Chicago's not all bad. Chicago actually made me pretty glad. It gave me experiences I've never had. And around my granny and my sister. Even though I seem to push them away, they are the main ones I want to be here and stay. I remember times I used to want to go to the park all day because I knew I had to come in when the street lights came on anyway. I remember it was times I wanted to go out with my friends, but I was always told to be around my family. And growing up, my mom always told me nothing is ever handed to me.